Oh, hey. that's Paris Jackson right there in her new movie called Sex Appeal. And Paris is joining us now. Hey, Paris. Hi, Paris. That film looks cool. The music, the vibe, you look really, uh, really awesome in it. Um, sex Appeal, what, what's the premise? Uh, the premise is about a girl who is planning to, you know, um, have her first time with her boyfriend and she goes on a mission to learn about sex and um, how to go about it the right way. And there's not really a lot of information out there in like pop culture about, you know, women having that experience. It's more so like the men getting laid and this, that, the other. So she's <laughs> on a mission to learn, basically. Nice. What's Danica's vibe? What's she all about? Danica uh, wears combat boots and listens to heavy metal, which is, I think, super cool. <laughs> um, and she has a lot of experiences with sex. She's like the sex guru, and she teaches uh, the main character, Avery, everything she knows. So you're like basically the Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> you're the Yoda. In this regard. There you go. I coincidentally... Um, sat next to your brother Prince at a Dodgers game <laughs> not too uh, not too long a real nice guy real nice guy and I remember him saying that in a lot of ways you're most like your dad uh in what ways would you say that is that is so sweet uh you'd have to ask him he's I think my brother's probably the nicest person I've ever met Aww. he is really like nice absolutely adore him I adore all my brothers you know they're like my best friends um I think maybe it had to do with my love for music um Hopefully my sense of humor. I don't know. I noticed, um, Paris, your tattoo on your arm peeking through there. How many do you have now? <laughs> no idea. Probably around 80, 90. Really? Wow. They're discreet mm -hmm. then. Yeah. You can't see. What, do, do you have, have a favorite? A favorite? Oh, I'm wearing sleeves, but I have quite a few. Oh, okay. Ooh, let us see that. Oh, look at that. Wow. Do, what was your first one? My first one, a uh, couple, I had a few that I got at the same time. One was like a puzzle piece that I got matching tattoo. I got an alien um, discreetly because I was underage when I got it. And I didn't want to get in trouble with my family. Um, and then another one that I got that was very discreet was I got my father's birthday and Roman numerals on my wrist. You, you've been an advocate for, for mental health, w which is great. And when it, when it comes to social media, it's so hard for especially young people to navigate these days. How do you push past any sort of negative energy? What would you suggest? What helps me is, you know, I go to therapy a couple times a week and, you know, I practice certain aspects of spirituality that have really helped me. I surround myself with people that I look up to that are a good influence on me, that aren't afraid to call me on my um, BS. And uh, I'm trying not to swear. It's really difficult. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's, that's mainly it. And just like, you know, diving into things that make me feel good that are like healthy, like music and painting and writing and things like that. That's good advice. Yeah. Your aunt, Janet, who I absolutely love. She's another sweetheart. Um, she has a documentary coming out this next month. Uh, what, what about, have you ever discussed maybe collabing with her? Um, we haven't talked about it, but like I'm not opposed to it. I love, you know, collaborating with all kinds of artists and um, doesn't the genre doesn't really turn me off. Like it doesn't matter what genre it is. I mean, I can't say that I see myself doing trap music anytime in the near future, right. but you know, <laughs> like I'm, I'm open to everything. That voice has got it all. And your fashion, Paris. We always feature you on our show talking about your fashion. Let's do some of our favorite fashion moments. Tell us what was going on. This, I believe, is at the 2018 Vanity Fair Oscar party. What do you remember about this look? Um, that is one of my favorite looks I have ever worn. And I remember just playing Bruno Mars a lot that night. His song Versace on the floor. Um, <laughs> just because my team thought it was hilarious. But that's definitely one of my favorite looks I have ever done. And I just felt good in it and comfortable. Because um, a lot of the things that we wear, as you know, I'm sure, are not the most comfortable. But yeah. that, that felt good. Speaking of Versace, I believe this one's at the 2019 Versace Fashion Show. Yeah. Cute. That was really great. I mean, I'm, I'm a sucker for bell bottoms. I love <laughs> bell bottoms. Look at this next one at the Met Gala, I believe from 2018. I loved this color. Thing. How did you like navigating those stairs, Paris? That was super fun, actually. The stairs weren't too hard, um, but that was really fun because I actually got to like collaborate with Stella McCartney when we were you know, making that dress, and I got to choose the color. That's one of my favorite colors. I love earth tones. I love browns and mustard yellow, burnt orange, olive green, burgundy. Um, so that was that was super fun. And then I also got to choose to wear my, my headband like that. Okay, 2021, this year, People's Choice Awards last year. 
Look at this. Again, with the earth tones, you're right, Paris. Pretty. I love those colors on you. Thank you. That was really great. I also am a sucker for Vivian Westwood and Andreas and the stuff that they've been doing together, the, the diversity that they have with their latest things and um, the sustainability. Um, and then also, I mean, the corsets, of course. Um, Paris, <laughs> thanks for joining us today. Congrats on everything you've got going on with your acting and your music and your positive Paris. energy. We just love it. Sex Appeal is going to be available for streaming January 14th on Hulu.